McQueen City and surrounding area continues to see the population multiply. That's right. Now, transportation leaders, they're trying to figure out a plan to get everyone from point A to point B for years to come into the future. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre shares how they're seeking solutions on mobility here in this growing city. Almost 900,000 people live in Charlotte and the population is only expected to grow. Part of the conversation surrounding transportation and mobility is about preparing for that growth. If we want to have a city that values everyone, that allows for upward mobility, we need a transportation plan, a mobility plan that allows for people to get to work, to home, and home to work. As the Charlotte region continues to grow, so does the need for an efficient transportation system, a mobility network, and the infrastructure to support it. Monday's Regional Transportation Summit brought together experts in the industry to address the needs. What would our city look like if 50% if of our trips uh, were, were made by car and we had the opportunity and the capacity to provide other ways to move? That would unlock a tremendous amount of capacity in our system without having to uh, build new infrastructure. Connect Beyond, a regional mobility plan that spans across counties, is one plan that looks to do that. It will bring together investments in roads, bikes, sidewalks, rails, and greenways. Monday, CATS shared more on the importance of stabilizing its workforce and providing reliable public transportation as it looks to expand the rail and bus lines. We're also uh, looking at the red line and looking at the conversation with the communities north of Charlotte, Huntersville, Cornelius, Davison, and Mooresville as we update the design of the Lynx red line to be ready for those future conversations to deliver uh, that project. Transportation leaders say investing in the mobility system essentially improves the quality of life for those who work and live in the region. And with plans in place, the focus turns to the need for funding. This region has been operating bus and rail services with the same one half cent sales tax since 1998. Our community needs and deserves more. We have got to solve the problem of funding and demonstrate our ability to fund the local portion before we can access those federal funds. Industry experts also discuss the need to bring in regional and corporate partners and to look at other funding sources like public-private partnerships or P3s. P3 is a way to bring alternative financing, alternative funding into a way to deliver a transportation need today where it may be years and years down the line if we look for other ways to do so. The overall idea is to increase the options people have to move in this city and to have a network that is good for people, businesses, the environment, and is equitable. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.